Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. Um, on this episode, I just rolled over 550 miles in this thing yesterday. Um, I'm loving this car. I got. I'm going to change oil now. Oil and filter. Uh, probably climb around underneath there and uh, double check everything. Um, I know I had talked about, I think an episode ago, about the noise I was hearing from the rear. I figured that out. So on the wheel with electronic parking brakes, uh, when those things retract, uh, the pads are pretty much free. I mean, they're not up against the road or anything. And the holes that go through the pads are probably five eighths of an inch, where the pin that goes through is three eighths. So the pads, since they're not up against the rotor, every time you hit a bump, you can hear those things flopping around back there. They're actually hitting up and down. So I'm gonna see if I can find a spring to put between them, a really light spring, just kind of force them outward. Uh, the motor will be able to drive right over the top of the spring, or at least push you know, against the spring, and uh, hopefully quiet that back, because you can hear both sides back there doing that. Uh, so at least I figured that one out. Uh, I also figured out my sound issues. I said these things were, this thing was way too loud. So I quieted it down and everyone's going, How'd you do that? Well, I bought a set of Apple AirPod Pros, uh, noise canceling uh, earbuds, and you throw those things in and it gets makes it so it's not a daily driver, but it makes a sound very tolerable. It's no longer crazy loud inside. Uh, I can have the radio going. And uh, so now I don't think I'm gonna change out the exhaust. I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Um, I did find a little leak. I drove it in the rain yesterday, and the windshield, I've got one spot where I've got a little leak. Let me show you where that's coming from. Um, so if you look up right into about here, uh, I'm just gonna drip inside the passenger compartment. So I'm gonna get some of that flowable silicone uh, sealant. They actually make it for windshield issues like that. I'm guessing I probably didn't get enough of that urethane in there, and there's a tiny little gap. I don't know, uh, but I said this flowable urethane or this flowable silicone should solve that problem. Other than that, the windshield is leak proof except for the one spot. Not bad for my first windshield. So um, then I'm going to probably, after I get the oil and filter changed, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, start the uh, finish tuning up with Lund. As I said, I got a few little issues. Cold start uh, runs a little rough for about five to 10 seconds. And then when I restart, a warm restart, I get a little weird rough run until it kind of smooths it on out. So I'm gonna see if they can adjust both those out. We'll do some high RPM data log. I've only had the thing do about 7,000 RPM so far. Uh, I'm not pushing it, but once I get the oil changed and I get a tune that I know is uh, safe, we'll start getting on it a little more. Well, other than that, I'm loving more and more driving this thing. As I said, it's a great car. I mean, it cruises on the highway in sixth gear. Um, you know, that, that, that TKO or the T56, love that transmission. Love having the fifth gear for just cruising at 60 down the highway. You know, 2000, you get up to 70, 75, 80, you kick it into sixth. Uh, great transmission, shifts smooth. I love the hydraulic throwout bearing. Uh, really no negatives in the car. Um, other than a loud noise, which I've now solved that, and uh, I'm just waiting for some more parts. Uh, windshield seal that I cut too short, I mean the uh, side glass uh, seal. We'll get the side windows in, hopefully quiet it down a little bit more. And then there's a rattle here or there, but I haven't finished up the interior yet. It's a little, still kind of rough. Uh, coming under the carpet's actually a heat adhesive down. It's just sitting in there in the back. So other than that, uh, yeah, it's been great. Loving the motor, uh, running strong, running good, decent fuel economy, I think. Well over 20 miles a gallon cruising down the highway. I don't know yet for sure, but that seems to be pretty good. So change your oil filter and uh, we'll throw this video up just so people know where I'm at so I don't get too far behind mileage wise so people know. And then I think I threw up last night one on the uh, hood rollers, which highly recommend that upgrade. And uh, I've got a bunch more videos coming up. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.